So hey everybody, it's Amanda of course. I am back. I know it's been two weeks, but I do have a haul for you guys. Somebody brought the charger to my camera, so I unfortunately have to film on my phone. So I'm not going to dwell on it because I got some good stuff, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? Alright, so here we go. So first I will start off with some drugstore items that I purchased. So, yes... I had to go back and reach back and reach back and reach back and remember what foundation I fell in love with in the beginning. And it was the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3 and 1. I used to love this freaking thing. Like, oh my God. And then somewhere I strayed away from it, but I know what happened. The Target stopped carrying it, so I just was like, okay, maybe they discontinued it. But I guess they just decided not to do it in the stores anymore because the only store in my city that I researched that had it was a store in the urban area, which is a CVS. So I went in there and I purchased two of them because I was like, if they sell out and they don't have any more, they may discontinue it. So I purchased two. I'm already using one. This is the other one. All right. And then because they were like, buy one, buy two or something, get $5 back. So that's what I did. And then, of course, I had to go in there to get my pain medicine because if you follow me on Snapchat, then you'll know I had to go through a root canal two weeks in a row because they couldn't finish it the first time. So I was in there waiting on them pain meds, and I, of course, had to look around and shop while I was waiting. So I picked up the Mellow Wine, which is 50% off. You guys know this is my baby. Y'all saw my favorites. Y'all saw how ratchet it looked, and I'm still using it. But I went ahead and purchased another one since it was 50% off. All right, and then I saw the Maybelline Master Contour Palette, uh, something new. But I noticed there's a lot of new makeup in the drugstores now. So, yeah, I purchased a few drugstore items. So, anyway, I got the Medium Deep, and it is the contour blush and the highlight. And the blush, just from looking at it, reminds me of orgasm for some reason. So, once I do a first impression on these guys for you, on this for you, I will let you know. But it definitely looks like orgasm. I don't know why it just does to me. All right, so, and I think that was like $12.99, if I'm not mistaken. And then the foundation was $9.59. So then, of course, while I was at CVS, I, well, if you guys don't know, the NARS concealer is like my all-time favorite, okay? It is going to always be my all-time favorite. Oh, my hair is so thick. I hate when it does that. So anyway, um, it is going to be, it's always been my favorite. No doubt, always been my favorite. But I keep hearing so much about these Maybelline fits, like they are just, you know, the dupe or whatever. And of course, if they're cheaper and they're a dupe, hey, why not try them? So I picked up medium and I picked up cafe. I didn't know which color I wanted, if I wanted to kind of go with my skin tone or if I wanted to highlight or what. So I figured I'd get both of them and try those out. And these are like eight or nine dollars, I think. So sorry about the prices, you guys. I'm kind of off on that. Um... All right, so that was CVS. And then this one thing that I picked up from Walmart because I had to go in there for something, but y'all know I don't do Walmart, okay? So anyway, and excuse me, I realize I'm looking right here when I need to be looking over here. So I apologize for that. But anyway, um, so I picked up this Smoky Shadow uh, Primer, eyeshadow primer from Walmart. I thought this was different from Hard Candy. You know, primers are normally clear or something like that. But it's smoky, if you can see that right there. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And I uh, will definitely use that. And I think it was like $6 or something. Y'all know how hard candy is. Alright, so I will move on to uh, Walgreens. So, I was in there. What was I in there for? Oh, I was in there picking up this kit for my daughter. That is the um, Ore Straightening and Strengthening Treatment. And I purchased this for her to do her hair. I always use this on her instead of perms because her hair is like mine is thick, but her scalp is sensitive. And it, I mean, it works on her. I am natural, but I've been natural for so long now. Like I haven't had a perm in, oh my God, it's been a long, long, long time. I promise you it's been a long time. And I don't mean four or five years. I mean, up in the 10 range, you know what I'm saying? So anyway... Um, but my hair is just, it curls up and then when it, when he touches it, it just does his business. So anyway, but for them, I don't want chemicals in there. Oh, I don't want a perm in their hair because their scalp is sensitive. Damn, can I talk? 
So anyway, I purchase this for her all the time and it reverts back to curly and you can flat iron it. So it just makes it more manageable. And it's like, it's normally like $15.99, but they had it on sale for $5 off. So yeah, got that for her. All right. And also I saw that Wet n Wild had some new stuff out. So I picked up the Wet n Wild contouring palette. And it has the darker one, the darker contouring shade. And then I guess it's like a highlight powder. And I got the one in Caramel Toffee. There is a lighter one, but of course, you know, it ain't going to work for me. So, you know, I got this one. All right. And I think this was like $4.99 maybe. I can't remember. Sorry. I think it was like $4.99. But I haven't been able to find it until I went to the urban area and found it. So, certain things, I hate that. I don't know why you got to do that. You know, just give me what I need. You know? So, anyway. And then also, I saw this uh, Lash Matic from Wet n Wild. And it's the kind of thing, it has a duo and one of them has the fibers or whatever. Like, I've dealt with that before and it didn't have too good of results. Because the lashes, I don't know if it's because my lashes are automatically long or what. But the little fibers would end up right here. So, yeah. I, but I will give Wet n Wild a try. They're normally pretty good, you know. So, I'll try them out. And I think this was like $5.99 maybe. Alright, and then also from Wet n Wild is the Ultimate Brow Kit. And that's what it looks like. It got like the different colors in there. And it has a stencil and tweezers and all that good stuff in there. And this was like $7.99. So I went ahead and tried it out. Um, I really don't do much to my brows. I really don't have to. They're thick, fortunately. Uh, but hey, you know, it won't hurt. So I got that. And then, and then I said it was Walgreens. If I did, I apologize. That's Walgreens. So I saw that Revlon has some new brushes. I knew it was going to happen though. Because all the other brushes that they normally have, they were going, they were marking them down. They were like five dollars or something. So anyway, so I saw the new brushes. They have a powder one, a stipple one, uh, a stipple brush, powder brush, this blush brush, and then they have two eye brushes, like a crease brush and something else. But the only one that was left was this one, and I felt, hey, I'm gonna try that because it was super soft on the uh, display. And as you can see, it got like a little diamond right there, and it goes to a point. So I thought that was cute. And it is the, um, what are they calling it? It's a name for it. Um, diamond Grip. It's the Diamond Grip brushes. So, I will be on the hunt for the rest of these because Revlon has some good brushes, like, for real. All right, and then last but not least from Walgreens, I picked up my uh, tea tree oil for my hair. You guys already know I'm naturally curly, so my scalp is dry. I don't know what it is about curly girls and dry scalp or whatever but anyway my scalp is dry so i have to use something to help me with that and tea tree oil does really well um to keep it from itching and all that good stuff and that's what it looks like and it's a little dropper to it so it's cool i don't want to open it right now because if i spill it baby y'all know the smell of that tea tree oil gonna get you so yeah got that and that was like 9.99 okay. so let's move on to target so i went into target to look at the skincare because I saw a video. I think it was Nikki L. I think that's her video name. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember. But if I can find it, I'll try to link her below. Uh, so, yeah, she went in there. She, well, she on her video, she showed the Boots um, Expert line of skincare. And she showed the Sensitive Hydrating Eye Cream. And they didn't have it marked in clearance in my store. But thanks to her saying it should be on clearance, I looked online and it was. So, I just, uh, when I went to the cash register, it rung up on clearance for like $3.00. It's normally like $7, $7, so I thought that was good, and I love trying new eye creams, okay? So, also from the Boots uh, Botanic line, well, Boots line, I saw the Botanics line, and this one is for brightening, and they have a range of lines that they have. They have for oily skin, you know, like a mattifying one, they have one hydration and all of that, but the reason I got this one for the brightening is because I told you guys previously, I had a battle with my eczema, and it won, apparently. And right here, it's really, it won't go away. It's like it pull, it strips some of my skin. So it it allows the part here, right above my lip, to look like I have a mustache. And I'm aggravated by that. But, you know, hey, I'm securing my skin, so it's no problem. But um, I figured if I use something, it'll brighten, you know, it'll brighten the area up or whatever. So, hey, why not try it? And so I bought the uh, cleansing toner, which is the All Bright Cleansing Toner. And this one has uh, hibiscus in it. And then I bought the foam wash, all bright. Okay. And then I also bought the uh, hydrating day cream. 
So, yeah, I'm going to give those a try. And y'all, what I tell y'all? Let me tell you something. I purchased these before I purchased the other skincare. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to ever use this. I might just take them back because I didn't feel in love. Yes, I didn't feel in love. But anyway, I'm going to give them a try anyway, okay? So, try Target for skincare because they have some reasonable stuff. I think this was like 11 and... This was, I know this was $15.99. I think this was $11.99. I'm sorry, $7.99. And this one was maybe like $11.99. So, yeah, try Target out. And like I said, they have a range for everything. They have a mattifying, a hydration, a brightening. Just, yeah, give the Boots line a try. Okay, so then I had to order this from Target because Target doesn't carry my color anymore and I'm pissed off. So, I had to order it. So, of course, I ordered two. As y'all can see with my oldies, but good is I have to order two or go purchase two because I'm scared they're going to get rid of them. The Shea Moisture line, I don't know if you guys have realized, but the Shea Moisture line in Target, they have marked down everything in the line, like on clearance. So I don't know if they're bringing in a new product or they're getting rid of the line or what, but they haven't had it that long. But anyway, Shea Moisture Eliminating Powder, I have used this in my faves videos for so many times. I've, you've seen me hit pan on it and everything. But once I went into the store to repurchase it, and it was gone. They only had three colors of the illuminating powder. And it was a really dark one. I think it was like Mandalay Dust or something. And then the other two were really light. So I was worried about that, thinking they discontinued it. But I go online, and you can actually order from Target's website. So I was pretty upset about that, um, considering you have to order a certain amount to get free shipping or whatever. And I ain't getting no red card with Target, because, you know, they be having them breaches and stuff. I ain't got time for that. But anyway, so I went ahead and ordered two of them. But oh my God, this powder is the business. And I'm already using one of them. And I remember way back in the beginning of 2015, honey, I was watching um, Sunkiss Alba. And she used this and I fell in love and been using it ever since. And so this is what it looks like. And it's kind of showing off red, but it's not. Oh, and this one is in Havana Sunrise. Oh my God, I had to, like I said, I bought two. I got a backup, so yes. Mm-hmm. Try to discontinue if you want to. But anyway, so I did purchase this and I freaking love it. But I need to find out why they're discontinuing all Shea Moisture stuff already. All right. So after that is MAC. And I went to Dillis to go to uh, purchase to re-up on my pressed prep and prime. You guys know from my favorites, again, my favorites video, that that's pretty much the only thing I use to set my under eye concealer. Because, you know, I can't do all that baking and stuff. I, I don't have anything against anybody that does it. You know, hey, from what it looks like to me from afar, it looks really good. You know, through the camera or whatever. But it doesn't work for me because I have deep set eyes. So it causes me to have bags. And it, mm -mm, I look like a powder donut or something. So I can't be doing all that. But I do still like to set it. And so, of course, here's the Prep and Prime. And like I said, I use the press one. And that's just what it looks like. And I've already swapped it. But it's just a translucent powder. That's all. And like I said, I just take a brush and go up under my eyes with it. And it does a pretty good job for me. So, hey, I'm good with it. And it's like $26, I think, maybe. $26? Yeah, I think it's like $25 or $26. So, I got that. And then I figured, I don't really just go in MAC and be getting no, you know, be getting all the lipsticks and all that stuff. I normally just get the limited edition lipsticks or whatever. But... I'm not just like this. I'm not like a Mac whore or something like, well, I'm just, oh my God, it's Mac. You know, I'm not one of those. So, um, I really just get like the limited edition stuff, blushes and stuff like that and don't even really use it. But I figured I'd go ahead and try lip gloss, you know, cause I don't have none of these lip glosses and I may as well pick the one that everybody raves about, which is Oyster Girl. So this is what that looks like. It's really, really, really cute. It's, it's just a clear gloss, you know, um, but it's like an iridescent gloss. So, I think it'll look good over anything. I think it'll look pretty good over anything. I'm not in, you know, this season I might do a little glossy gloss, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really just stuck to a matte lipstick. So, you know, I try both of them and see what it is. But I would put it over, but right now I got this uh, color pop on and, you know, it don't mix well with nothing else. So, I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, and I think this was like $22. And that little bit of old thing, though, like... You better not have them big soup coolers because you're going to need a couple of these little things right here. Because this, this is little, this little. Little. All right, so anyway, on to Sephora. So first off, let's just say um, thank you. Thank you, Sephora, for these little covers on your brushes. Yep, mm-hmm, I love them. I love it. So I appreciate y'all doing that. So anyway, I got this little brush, and it was, they've actually marked this brush down to like $21. 
and it is the number 58 Pro Precision Foundation Brush. Now, I don't know about using it for no foundation with that little bitty tip like that. But what it, what it will be good for is, mm, yep, getting that, uh, either that setting powder or, you know, blending out that concealer. And it's pretty soft. So, it's soft, but it's dense enough to, you know, get the job done. So, I think I'm going to like that. And again, that's number 58. And like I said, I love this little case right here. Yep. All right, so moving on. So we got Sephora Moisturizer, Instant Moisturizer. And I remember trying this in a sample a while ago, but then I just kind of, mm, I was like, oh, well, it's okay. Uh, but then I realized that a couple of days after using it, it looked pretty good on my skin. So I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. And it's just, like I said, it's just a little small bottle of it or whatever. And that's pretty much what it is right there. I kind of like getting the small moisturizers for my face because it'll give me a chance if I really didn't just like it to use it up and then move on. Uh, but yeah, that should work pretty good. And I think this is like $12. Y'all, that little checkout area, that'll get you in trouble in Sephora. And uh, so anyway, also I got this as a little sample when I actually had to order that brush. I got this in a little sample. It is the Bare Minerals Vital Power Infusion. It is a serum. So, I don't know how good that's going to be, but we'll try it. Ain't going to hurt to try. Then I got the cutest little thing. Look at that. Look how cute that is. It is the Tartlet Tees, the Tarte Palette. And it's so tiny, y'all. Like, it's like a credit card. Like, well, yeah, yeah. Like, a little bit bigger than a credit card. But look how cute. Oh, is this not going to be the cutest travel palette ever? Like, you can throw this in your purse. You know, you can throw it in a little wallet or something, girl. Let me tell you. And then it got a mirror. Like, what little bitty pattern like this, you know, has a mirror? It has a freaking mirror on it. Like, how cute is that? And then it has tees right there. I'm trying not to blind y'all with the mirror. But, so this is what it looks like. And the only reason I had to blow on it like that because I had swatched it. But, you know, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, here are the colors. I'm trying not to blind y'all. But. You can see that there is whisper well let me try it this way so you guys can see it okay there is whisper crush heartbreaker wink first kiss and bff and oh my god let me try crush let me show y'all what crush looks like that is crush right there crush and uh, let's try this dark BFF. Ooh. Whoa. Look at that. Take my breath away. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. See what it blend out like. Y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, heck did he get? Um, $22. $22. You better get on it. Girl, look at, you see that? Tarte be doing their thing. You know, I don't own any shadows from Tarte now that I think about it. I always look at them and be like, oh, well, okay. But I never get them. But this right here is going to be the business in my purse. All right, then on from that, I've been on a concealer kick. I'm, now, I know, y'all know I love my nose. I told y'all that. But. I mean, what's going to hurt to try another one, you know, to see if you can fall in love with that one, too? So, I figured I'd pick up the uh, Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum, and I got it in Pecan Pie. That's what that looks like. And I think theirs is like $14, maybe. Somewhere around there. And, honey, if I find one cheaper than that NARS and it works the same, oh, I'm getting that. And then, this also came with my order. Uh, let's see. The Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science. I just picked the one I wanted and it came with all of the right now. Good God, there's a lot of them in there. And it is the um, Needles No More. So, yeah. I mean, what the hell is it for? Let's see. Oh, okay. With Exclusive Tri Blend Wrinkle Relaxer. Okay. I might need that. All right. Gonna try that out. See where that's gonna go. Then with uh, uh with the hundred points, I just went ahead and got this uh, makeup forever uh, step one equalizer skin equalizer because people rave about it. So I figured I may as well try it since I was in there, you know, 
and don't have to commit to a big pack. And then I just got a sample of the Glam Glow Super Mud. Everybody raving about this. I may as well try and see what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, you know, I told you about um, when I got the Tarte stuff or whatever. I mean, not the Tarte. When I got the botanicals from Target is what I was trying to say. When I got that, I didn't realize I was going to go in Sephora and find something that was going to make my day. Okay. I went in Sephora and I found this Josie Moran kit. Okay. It is the Cleanse, Nourish, and Protect. It is the Argan Skin Care Ritual. All skin types, especially sensitive. Yes, a moment of silence. Oh, uh, y'all, and I'm still looking over here. Let me tell you something. This right here, I used it one time. One night, I used this just to try it out. And I saw instant results. And then the next morning I woke up, I was, I was... I was shocked. I was in love. I had this one, and like I said, I don't have really problematic skin, don't get me wrong, but I had a stubborn pimple. I got a hairy daddy, so that make me hairy too. So, yeah, I have, you know, hair in my face, whatever, and I'm not even gonna lie. That's what causes the little bumps here, the, you know what I'm saying? But when I tell you I had a bump right here, and nothing would make it go away, I exfoliated and everything, and it would just wouldn't go away, because I don't wanna scrub too hard, I cleaned my face with this. The next morning, it was gone. Yes, it was. It was gone. And um, so I used the oil, of course. Then, I mean, the cleansing oil. Then I used the Oregon oil. And then I used the moisturizer. And I love it. My skin felt like a baby. So I will definitely continue to use this. I don't know what I'm going to do about the botanicals, though. So I don't know. But I'll figure it out. But this is amazing. And it was $24. And it's a pretty good amount of products in here. Um, to, you know, to at least show you some results. So I am in love with this. Now I'm tempted to try all of her products. So I love this. Love, love, love this. Okay. All right. So I think that is pretty much it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching my haul. I do have some more videos coming for you guys. And I will pump them out. Also, if I feel like the quality is okay with my phone, then I will continue to do a few of those. But more than likely, I won't have to. Okay. If I could just find the time to look for a camera, but we have to go out of town the weekend, so hopefully I will. All right, you guys, I'll see you later, and I appreciate you for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.